guys, it's Brittany, and today's video has been requested. I recently mentioned it in a video that I uploaded like a little over a week ago, I believe. It was about those creepy numbers to call, and I mentioned that, I mentioned about the number four, how I see it everywhere I go, basically, and it's just, it's really creepy. So I asked you guys because in my video apparently the number four means like it's bad, it means death, it means bad luck. So I mentioned that like you know I see the number four and if you guys want me to make a whole video about the number four. So so many of you guys were like girl make that video about the number four so that's what I'm doing right now. I actually wrote down in my notes on my phone um, a few of the experiences that I've had with the number four. That sounds like really weird. <laughs> I don't remember them all and I'm trying to really go back and remember everything that's happened to me with the number four. I have a few experiences but there's so many more but right now I just can't think about them so hopefully as I'm filming this more will just pop into my head. So first of all I want to tell you guys that the number four is actually my favorite number and no it's not like I just kind of chose it to be my favorite number it's not like I was like, you know what, I need a favorite number, so I'm gonna choose the number four. Like, no, I came out of my mother, and I was just, it was in my head. I'm programmed to, programmed? <laughs> what am I, a robot? Like, I'm programmed, programmed to have the number four be my favorite number. It's not like I ever thought about it, it just has always been my favorite number. Even like how I've said so many times in my videos that when I came out of my mom, sorry that sounds really weird, but when I was born, you know, like when mom gave birth to me, I've always been in love with the paranormal. It's not something that just happened, it just was just in my head, it's just who I am. So the number four is just like that and I have, I don't know why, I don't know why. So yeah, four has always been my favorite number, there's just no meaning behind it, it's just my favorite number. And now that brings me to pretty 44 because some people are like, oh my god, you got 44 in your name. Well, that's not really a coincidence because I made my channel when I was 16 years old, I'm 26 now, so it's been a freaking long time on this channel. Pretty was my nickname in high school and people still sometimes call me pretty, but not really. You guys call me pretty, but I go by Brittany or Brit or Kylo Ren. <laughs> I'm so weird, but um, yeah. So, so that's the whole Brittany 44 thing. So that's not a coincidence. Four is my favorite number, but I just didn't like Brittany 4, so I changed it to Brittany 44. I made it Brittany 44, but I just didn't know that my YouTube was going to be what it is today. So that's you know that just doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> the next thing on my list. This isn't really a coincidence. But I wanted to share it with you guys. So when I was 12, not 12, 11, 10, 11, I don't know. But I played soccer. Like, I don't know why. Well, I played soccer because I was trying to be like Mary Kate and Ashley and switching goals. I just wanted to be like them. I really hated soccer, but I wanted to be like Mary Kate and Ashley. I wanted to be on the blue team, which I was like Ashley. So, hey. So it was the day that we got to pick our numbers. So I was like, girl, I want the number four. And I remember this lady, like this mother of a teammate on my team or like whatever you call them. Like I don't know anything about sports guys. I just joined to be Mary Kate and Ashley, like to be Mary Kate and Ashley vibes and I sucked at soccer anyways. And, but it's just not my thing. I'm not athletic. I hate sports. But if you love sports, like that's awesome. Power to you. But I just, I don't like it. So this girl's mother on my team, she was like, why do you want the number four? That's a bad number. Like it means death. It means this. And I was like, that was the first time that I ever heard about that number being a bad number and I was like well it's my favorite number so I want the number four and she was just going on about how it's just a crazy number like why would you want that it's just bad luck I just told her like it's my favorite number I want to be the number four so too bad go away <laughs> unfortunately I did not get the number four but I got the number 14 I don't know if it was a coincidence because my coach knew that I wanted to be number four but I don't know who got number four uh I don't know so I guess he's like, okay, you know what, you can get 14 then, so it's 14. So that's, I don't really know if that's a coincidence, huh? <laughs> the next thing, and I've always thought that this was weird, always. So you guys know I love Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. My favorite Sailor Scout has always been Sailor Jupiter. And if you guys are Sailor Moon fans, you know what I'm getting at with this. Sailor Jupiter is the fourth Sailor Scout. When you see her, she has the number four on her forehead to tell people, like to tell Serena, to tell Luna that she is a Sailor Scout. She is the fourth one. 
I've always thought that was weird. I never even knew she was the fourth Sailor Scout when I first, well, I guess when I first saw her, I saw like, you know, the number four and everything, but that's not why I liked her. I just always loved Sailor Jupiter. I love her Jupiter Thunder Crash. Like, I just love, I love her. She's just amazing. I love Thunderstorm, so I always liked how she had the thunder and lightning. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But she's always been my favorite Sailor Scout. So the fact that she's the fourth Sailor Scout. Sorry if I'm yelling. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just kind of crazy today. I have my crazy days and like my crazy crazy days and today is one of my crazy crazy days. <laughs> and what's really weird guys is on my phone I made a list of things that I wanted to cover in this video and Sailor Jupiter is number four on my list. So that's weird. Fourth Sailor Scout and number four on my list. But uh, <laughs> you guys probably think I'm nuts. This is one of the weirdest things that has like kind of always happened to me and sometimes it's just all the time it's happening and then other times it just kind of dies down but pretty much every time I look at a clock or like on my phone at the time it's four o'clock or it's 444 or it's like 404 it's just it's always four and for a while I've been waking up at four in the morning exactly and it's not like I'm awake and I sit there and then I look at the clock like I wake up my eyes just whoo shoot open I look at my clock and it's 4 a.m. I've also have woken up at 4 44 a.m. so that's that's weird right that's really weird so after I was constantly seeing the time as 4 4 44 4 oh 4 I decided to kind of look it up and because I see the number four everywhere as well so I've done some research on the number four and apparently it means that angels are around you, you know, they're kind of trying to guide you through life and they're just, they're watching you and they're looking after you, which is very comforting and when I read that I was like, yes, thank you. But you know what, I'm not really surprised by that because my whole life I've always, I'm a Christian by the way, but I think like you guys know that already, <laughs> obviously, but um, my whole life I've always felt as if I've I'm being watched. Not in a bad way. I've always felt this presence around me. I don't know if it's loved ones that have passed on. I don't know if it's angels, but I know this, I don't want to sound like I'm invincible or anything, but I just feel like somebody has my back up there and they're just always looking out for me and just trying to take care of me and they're guiding me through life. That's just how I've always felt, which is great, which is awesome. And I hope that's, that's right. Somebody up there has my back. They are just, they're there for me. They want me to succeed in life and I feel it. I don't know who it is, but thank you. Thank you. You rock my world. They know that. Um, I hope I made them smile. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Sorry. I'm so crazy in this video. But anyways, so the next thing, oh yes, this. Okay. So, oh my God, I'm about to cough. <coughs> Woo, I'm talking too much. So, when I was in London a few months ago, was it March? Like, honestly, I have like memory loss problems sometimes, but I think it was March that I went to London. So I actually posted this on Instagram. It's way down if you want to scroll through my Instagram, but I was walking around this place. It was by uh, Buckingham Palace. It was, it kind of reminded me of Harry Potter. Like maybe they filmed there, I don't know. But I remember I'm just walking down the street and then for some reason I just turned my head to the right and there is a big four. A four, or was it 44? Hold on, you know what? I'm gonna find that picture on Instagram. Oh, it's gonna take me a while though. Yes, I found it. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's 44 out of like everything I decided to look at. I wasn't even looking, I was just straight ahead walking. I don't know where I was going, but I just, you know, looking, woo! Number 44 is just right on this building looking at me. So I took a picture of it. I uploaded this March 13th, and then I wrote in my caption, pretty dot 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 44 and I said seriously everywhere I go I see the number 4 or 44 everywhere with all those like uh, emojis because like emojis are my life it's kind of freaking me out lol so if you guys want to see that picture on my Instagram you can follow me at pretty 44 and it's just it's right there you kind of have to scroll down because I upload a lot to Instagram and it's from March but yeah there you go. Another really weird thing is when I used to work in retail, my cash register 
was always number four. That was the one that was assigned to me and I always was like, okay, this is weird. Number four is my cash register, it always was. So that's another thing that I thought was really weird. Now, getting into a recent thing. So I recently got back from this awesome trip that I went on, which was just so much fun. So I was at the airport and I was like flying to Las Vegas and then like going to Arizona and then like coming back to Las Vegas later on. But when I was at the airport, I was, you know, gonna check in my luggage and stuff. So I was waiting in the line. I was flying with Southwest. So I was, there was all these different people that you can check in with, but obviously you have to wait in line. So the person, the lady that I checked in with, she was at number four. Another recent thing too, and I actually tweeted about this. So when I was at the hotel in Arizona, my hotel room was on the fourth floor. It might have just been a coincidence, you know, who knows, but guys, do you want to know what my room number was? My room number was room 444. I can't even like say four anymore. I've been saying it so much. But yes, 444 was my room number on the fourth floor. And I remember I was like, oh, like it freaked me out because I was thinking about the video that I recently filmed, how four is like a bad number in Japan. So I was like, oh snap, what is happening, you know? And I was originally gonna play the elevator game in that hotel, so I thought maybe like spirits were telling me don't play it because something's gonna happen to you, but like, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many experiences that I've had with this number, crazy experiences, and I wish that I kept like a number four notebook <laughs> and I write down every time I've had an experience because it probably has filled up that entire notebook if I had a notebook. But another weird thing too, when I was still on the trip guys, so I went to, this. I went to LA after uh, Arizona. So when I was in LA, I went to Universal Studios Hollywood, which is great, it was so much fun. I loved it, The Walking Dead, hey, like amazing attraction, I loved it. I was dressed up like Rick Grimes, but I also had a Slytherin outfit on as well. <laughs> This guy at Hogwarts was like, I love your Rick Grimes Slytherin outfit. He worked there, he was so funny. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, so I was in the line for the Simpsons ride. Also too, I did the whole VIP experience. So I got like front of the line passes and stuff, which is the way to go if you're going to Universal Studios. Totally, you save so much more time. So I had like the whole VIP thing. So I was with this group of people, like six people in my group and we just like stayed with each other for the day because we were the VIP people. So. We were in our part of the line because there's like um, the VIP and then there's like the non-VIP. So um, where was I going with this? So anyways, we're all just like sitting there just kind of like talking and you kind of have to go into different rooms and you watch a video and stuff before you go on the ride because it's like this simulator thing. So we're all just like talking and stuff and then all of a sudden this guy comes out and he's like, okay, you guys, you are number four. And I was like, I looked at Jonathan, my brother, because he knows the whole number four thing too. So I looked at him, I'm like, see what I mean? Like number four is everywhere. And he's like, chill, okay, it's everywhere. Like I believe you. So um, my group, we went to, like you go to different rooms. It's hard to explain. If you haven't been to Universal Studios, you don't know what I'm talking about. Basically though, you start in a lineup and then you're like in different lines. It's really hard to explain, I'm sorry guys. And then you go into different rooms and the rooms are, like they're all numbered obviously and the first room you go into you watch a video and then you go on the ride which is like in the next room so we were in room number four and I was just like what like out of all rooms and there were so many rooms and numbers but I was in the fourth room and it had like a number four on the door so I just thought that was really creepy <laughs> another thing that I wanted to mention too was when I finally played the elevator game at the Paris in Las Vegas like a crazy person. Security was probably watching being like, what is this girl doing? So I don't know. <laughs> it was just crazy playing at 3 a.m. Like what was I thinking? But you know, it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It got a lot of good feedback. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the elevator game. But what I noticed was the first floor, when you start in the elevator, you start on the first floor. But the first floor, like the button that you press, that you have to go up to, you have to go up to the fourth floor. So when that happened, I was thinking in my head, oh my God. So that's all the experiences that I can think of right now. But trust me, there are so many more and maybe I'll make a part two. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You probably think I'm crazy, but like I am crazy and proud of it, like whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think about the whole number four and if you've had similar experiences with the number four or 
other numbers. I'm glad it's not like I'm seeing the number 666 everywhere because that would be a totally different story. <laughs> that would be, that'd be terrifying actually. I would be scared for my life. But you know, if it is angels and I know somebody up there, like I said, has my back and wants me to succeed in life and I appreciate it so much and thank you. I don't know where you are. They could be sitting beside me. They could be up like floating there. I don't know. But and that's a very comforting feeling for me. So let me know if you guys also like feel that somebody is around you because I know somebody, somebody has my back. That sounds weird to say, but, and like, I'm not trying to make it out like I'm invincible, you know what I mean? But there's somebody out there who cares about me a lot up there and they just, I feel it. It's like, it's weird. I'm very connected. So that's great. If it's an angel um, or a loved one or maybe both, like, I don't know if they are catching on to how I know that I'm being watched by them so and they know that I'm catching on to the whole number four thing so I don't know if they're like okay she's catching on let's keep throwing fours at her so she knows that we know that might sound a little crazy too but I have thought about that maybe they keep throwing it at me because they know that I know they want me to know that it's them which is very comforting too and I act I love that so much and I think that's very sweet anyways guys I will leave now because I think I've talked so much and obviously I'm gonna cut so much out of this video because I don't want it to be like half an hour long but I hope you enjoyed this and like I said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you've had any experiences with the number four or any other number like let me know because I think this is very fascinating to me it's very fascinating as always you rock my world and the song lyrics of Michael Jackson hashtag team pretty 44 hashtag brotherins hey and I will see you guys in my next video bye